Welcome back to Poe Message Channel. In this video, we will be using the Poe HVN 10.2M all-in-one solar inverter to demonstrate the practical application of DC circuit breakers and DC isolators on the PV input line during the setup of the photovoltaic system. We will begin by connecting the battery light and low light to the inverter. Both the battery and low light should be equipped with appropriate rated circuit breakers. Next, remove the metal MC4 protective cover from the button of the inverter. This cover is designed to protect the building MC4 connectors from damage during transportation. Then, install the DC circuit breaker and DC isolator to a suitable position. The installation location should follow the connection circuit, PV input, DC isolator, DC circuit breaker, inverter. This ensures that isolator can fully disconnect the upstream power source when needed. During wiring, be sure to observe correct polarity. In photovoltaic systems, when using both DC circuit breakers and isolators, their roles are complementary. The circuit breaker provides automatic protection such as against overloads or short circuits. However, it does not offer complete physical disconnection and may still allow small leakage currents when tripped. The isolator, on the other hand, provides a visible physical break in the circuit, ensuring complete disconnection during maintenance. While it lacks arc extinguishing capability, it can safely handle many switching underrated current, making it suitable as a maintenance switch. Follow the manufacturer's wiring instructions carefully. According to the operating guide for the isolator we are using, the PV input positive and negative terminals should be connected to the terminal 5 and 7, while the wiring from the circuit breakers positive and negative terminals should be connected to the terminal 6 and 8. After completing the wiring, first close the circuit breaker on the battery light, then power on the inverter. Once the inverter starts inverting, check the isolator and brake connections before closing the PV input light. After confirming everything is correctly connected, close the DC isolator first, then the circuit breaker. To disconnect the PV circuit, reverse the order. Open the circuit breaker first, then the isolator. Since the isolator cannot extinguish arcs, directly switching it off under load may result in sustained arcing, potentially damage to contacts or isolation. Therefore, DC isolators must only be operated when there is no current flowing. Finally, we will close the load circuit breaker to demonstrate how this off-grid system performs under load. This is a classic and fully self-sufficient off-grid solar system with the load powered entirely by the PV input and battery throughout inverter output, completely independent of the utility grid. That's it for today's demonstration. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.